Her Excellency Dr. Samia Slu Hassan, the President of the United Republic of Tanzania, distinguished guests, esteemed faculty, students, and honored attendees. It is our great pleasure and honor to confer an honorary doctorate upon Her Excellency Dr. Samia Sulhu Hassan. Her Excellency made significant contributions to the development and the prosperity of Tanzania and the international community through her visionary leadership and outstanding achievement. Her Excellency is not the first woman president of Tanzania, but the only woman president of the African continental continent now. <laughs> We recognize her exceptional dedication and uh, influence, particularly in the aviation sector, including airport and infrastructure development. The aviation industry can promote the tourism industry and the economy in greater intent, especially in the fast-moving 21st century. Korea Aerospace University has 72 years of history and uh, is uh, association with the Korean Air. Our university has been instrumental to fostering aviation professionals in Korea and foreigners. We had four Tanzanian Global Aviation Fellowship with a master's degree graduate. We are going to start another program for master's in September this year. Tanzania has a tremendous potential to grow with a lot of rich tourist attractions and growing the number of air travelers and air cargo. Tanzania will be the leader of aviation and a leading economy in the region. Her Excellency's commitment to fostering cross cooperation with Korea and the Korea Aerospace University in particular will bring a new momentum to develop Tanzania in the areas such as the aviation industry, ICT, and the country as a whole. Our university is ready to work together with the Tanzanian people. Today is a new starting point for the cooperation and the partnership with the Tanzanians and the Koreans. Her Excellency, your leadership and the vision inspire all of us. It is our great honor and the pleasure that we confer upon you the honorary doctorate in aviation management. <laughs> We look forward to witnessing the continued growth and the success of Tanzania's aviation sector and the economy under, the, under your esteemed guidance. We want to extend a warm welcome and a heartfelt congratulations again to Her Excellency, Dr. Samia Sulu Hassan. Avante. 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 Her Excellency, Dr. Samia Sulu Hassan, distinguished guests and dear professors and students. It is my distinct privilege to stand here 
as the chairperson of the board of Korea Aerospace University to celebrate the conferring of an honorary doctorate to of the United Republic of Tanzania. Her visionary leadership has not only propelled Tanzania forward, but also made a significant impact on the global stage. The aviation sector and development. At Korea Aerospace University, we are deeply committed to preeminent education and research in aviation. I understand that Her Excellency's vision for Tanzania includes a robust and dynamic aviation industry, which aligns perfectly with our mission at Korea Aerospace University. Her Excellency, your dedication to advancing Tanzania's aviation sector is truly commendable. Your leadership has not only elevated Tanzania's st status, but has also opened doors for greater economic and technology cooperation between Tanzania and Korea that was propelled by yesterday's presidential summit meeting between our countries. On behalf of the Board of Korea Aerospace University, I extend our sincere congratulations to Your Excellency, Dr. Samia Sulu Hassan. This honorary degree is a symbol of our deep respect and admiration for your achievements and our unwavering support for your ongoing efforts. We look forward to continuing our collaborative efforts to enhance aviation education and professional development. May this recognition serve as a reminder of the firm alliance between our eight nations and our shared commitment to progress and innovation in the future. Asante, thank you. Thank you, Chairperson Hyun. Curriculum Vitae will be presented. Dr. Samia Suluhu Hassan was born in Tanzania on January 27, 1960. She earned a master's degree in economics from Manchester University in 1994 and a master's degree in community economic development from Southern New Hampshire University in 2015. She was awarded Time Magazine's 100 Most Influential People in the World in 2022, the Order of Revolution for Unique Leadership Qualities in 2024. As for her career, in 2010, she served as a member of Parliament and Minister of State for Union Affairs in Tanzania. In 2014, she served as Deputy Speaker of the Tanzanian Constituent Assembly. She also served as the first female Vice President of Tanzania from 2015 to 2021. Currently, Dr. Samia Sulu Hassan has been serving as the first female President of Tanzania since 2021. Citation for Honorary Degree. Her Excellency, Dr. Samia Sulu Hassan, is the only executive female president in Africa, serving as the sixth president of the United Republic of Tanzania and the first woman president in Tanzania's 60-year history. Her Excellency, Dr. Samia, came into the office in 2021, and before that, she was the vice president for a period of five years. In her leadership, her Excellency President Samia has marshaled the country's steadfast post-COVID-19 socio-economic transformation through her exceptional, consulted, and participatory leadership guided by her doc doctrine, which focuses on reconciliation, resiliency, reforms, and rebuilding. Dr. Samia has greatly contributed to the development and prosperity for both Tanzania, as well as the regional and international stride, where she champions for climate change, 
financing and clean cooking energy for Africa. Remarkable achievements are not notable in many areas, such as healthcare, education, ICT, aviation industry, and infrastructure development. These achievements have brought her leadership into the international limelight, notwithstanding her relatively short tenure in the office. More specifically, in the aviation industry, President Samia has contributed greatly by introducing transformative actions, policy interventions, and pragmatic leadership that has transformed the sector to what we see today. Some of the notable actions taken include personally promoting Tanzania's tourism through filming the Royal Tour film in the United States an amazing Tanzania documentary in China, developing airport infrastructure in the capital city of Dodoma to be inaugurated in December 2025, investing in capacity building for systems, technical personnel, and supporting staff, and expanding our fleet both for passenger and cargo flight. Today, the country has 14 passenger flights from just one in 2015. Out of those, six have been added since 2021, including one cargo flight, making Tanzania a new entrant into the air cargo business. Furthermore, the national carrier Air Tanzania has expanded its local, regional, and international coverage. Now Air Tanzania flies to 24 domestic eight regional and three international destinations, namely Guangzhou, China, Mumbai, India, and Dubai, UAE. Such interventions have contributed greatly in increasing visibility, expanding network, and improving operational efficiency. At a time, many airlines were struggling to recover from COVID-19. Since 2015, the number of pilots has increased to 604, with a 21% increase, and the number of engineers increased to 76, with 181% increase. These have improved the pilot aircraft ratio from 1 to 3.3 to 1 to 4.4, and the Engineer to aircraft ratio from 1 to 5.6 in 2015 to 1 to 1 1.8 in 2023. Based on that, the domestic market share has surged from 2.4% to 53%, and revenue increased from 23 billion Tanzanian shilling in 2016-17 to 380.4 billion Tanzanian shilling in 2022-23. These milestones have had a huge impact to the economy due to the facilitative nature of the aviation industry, which has always sparked the growth of other sectors such as real estate, hotels, transportation, and the hospitality industry at large. In recognition of Her Excellency Samia Sulu Hassan's exceptional dedication and outstanding achievement, the Korea Aerospace University is pleased to confer upon an honorary doctorate in aviation management. Once again, with our greatest pleasure, we congratulate Her Excellency Dr. Samia Sulu Hassan for these milestones achievements in aviation sector. Thank you. Thank you. Professor He Young Ho, President of Korea Aerospace University, Chairperson, the Dean of Korea Aerospace University Professors and Board Members, Honorable Ministers, Senior Government Officials, from Tanzania and Republic of Korea, faculty members and students, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. It is with immense gratitude that I stand before you today to receive this prestigious honor. 
this is an achievement which I've never dreamed of. Thank you very much. I extend my heartfelt appreciation to the Senate of the esteemed Korea Aerospace University for their recognition of my modest contribution to the aviation sector in Tanzania. In the face of rapid technological advancements, evolving consumer expectations, and impactful global challenges, our commitment to realize the potential and promise of the aviation sector must remain unwavering. Tanzania's ambition to develop aviation industry was driven by our physical features. The country has a surface area of 945,000 square kilometers and is strategically located in East Africa in the Indian Ocean, bordering eight countries by land and two more by sea. Of necessity, realizing effective multimodal connectivity becomes a high priority. Our most recent push to advance the aviation sector was fueled by the cognition of the sector in supporting our economy bid back better after the COVID-19 pandemic. We realized that this sector holds immense potential to bolster economic growth through the facilitation of investment, trade and travel and tourism. I'm happy to note that the aviation industry in Tanzania has seen, has seen remarkable growth and development in recent years. In the post-pandemic period, between 2021 and 2023, there was a notable surge with an average annual increase of passengers of 28%. During the same period, the total number of airlines operating international flights has increased from 26 to 33 since 2021, and thus increasing the number of tourists um, even before uh, before uh, COVID, uh, before COVID um, time, so we have now close to two million tourists visiting Tanzania. <clears throat> we have a number of um, uh, international direct flights to Tanzania including Air France, Saudi uh, Airlines, FlySafeAir, and JumboJet. And we are now in negotiations of more to come straight to Tanzania. The new airlines are taking advantage of business potential that exists, but also utilizing their bilateral air service agreements in place, which have increased from 77 in 2019 to 89 in 2023. Equally, it is worth noting that local operators and domestic travelers have also been a key part of growth in this sector. The domestic operations have expanded with the annual domestic traveler numbers risen by 26.5% from the pre-pandemic levels of 3 million passengers to 3.8 million passengers in 2023. Although the total number of aircraft registered in Tanzania declined from 151 in 2020, uh, 2015 to 136 in 2023, the seating capacity of all registered aircraft increased by 15% from 2,954 to 3,392 indicating that in 2023, the planes in operation were able to accommodate more passengers and that this high passenger load factor means low cost or lower cost for airline operations overall. Ladies and gentlemen, central to our, uh, central to our achievements has been our resolve to strategically invest in this, in this sector. Of note, 
has been uh, the substantial investment in revamping our national career. Air Tanzania uh, Corporation and infrastructural development initiatives such as radar systems installation and the rehabilitation and expansion of airports across the country. Before 2026, our national career had only one working flight. As of March this year, as the Dean has uh, correctly said, we have augmented the Air Tanzania Corporation fleet to 14 passenger planes and one cargo craft. Furthermore, we have expanded its network from just four national destinations to 24 destinations, which also include eight regional African routes and three international destinations as they have been mentioned earlier. Revamping the careers has translated into remarkable financial growth for Air Tanzania Corporation, with revenue increase from Tanzanian shilling 23 billion, which is around 12.1 uh, billion Korean, uh, Korean won in 2016-2017, to Tanzanian shilling 380.4 billion, which is around 200.2 billion Korean won in 2023, 2022-2023. Additionally, Air Tanzania Corporation domestic market share has surged to 53% from a mere 2.4% in 2022-2023, while passengers volume has surged by 42% from 4.8 million in 2015 to 6.8 million 2024. Aircraft movements have also increased by 20%, with cargo volumes witnessing an 18% uptick between 2015 and 2023. Along with revamping our national career, we have also made sustainable strides in enhancing our workforce. The number of licensed pilots and aircraft engineers, engineers grown significantly. Pilots increased to 604, a 21% rise, and engineers uh, uh, 76, 181% increase by the end of last year, 2023. This expansion in manpower has led to improved operational efficiency, leaving adequate room for flight crew to rest and reduce the number of craft handled by each engineer. Investment has gone to infrastructure in the aviation sector as well. We have upgraded our existing international airports to improve services and to enable them to handle more traffic. And as we have attracted experienced operators, experienced operators, including Denata and Celebi, among others, we are building a new international airport in our new capital city, Dodoma. And we are also rehabilitating and upgrading a total of seven existing domestic airports. In line with our civil aviation master plan, we aim to have an airport in each of the 26 regions of Tanzania mainland and in Zanzibar, two in Zanzibar, Unguja and Pemba. As a result, we expect the domestic air travel numbers to continue to grow, creating more socioeconomic opportunities for our people. We have also invested in many modern air traffic management systems and radars in different parts of the country, thus enhancing Tanzania's air uh, traffic safety and efficiency, and facilitating controllers to handle traffic volumes and make decisions. Whereas the number of uh, Air Tanzania Corporation balance sheet are modest, the contribution to the broader economy has been immense. Enhanced air transport has facilitated movements of goods and people, connected markets, and simulated economic activities. I'm proud to note that the contribution of the aviation sector in Tanzania has increased from 0.9% in 2018 to 2.5% 2 
of GDP in 2023. Thank you, Hamsamida. This growth has helped to change lives through creating jobs. It is gratifying to note that employment in the aviation sector has increased by 47% from the pre-pandemic levels and presently employ around 10,000 people. The question then is, what do all these sets of figures indicate? They show us that our efforts to build back better in the aviation sector are bringing about meaningful results. They reveal consumer confidence returning, which is in line with IATA estimates of 2024 being the year when passenger numbers on average across the world will surpass the pre-COVID levels. It is true in Tanzania. We have reached this target. Also critical, these numbers show promise of future growth of Tanzania's aviation sector and the immense potential this sector holds. It is our vision to realize a dynamic aviation industry that will enable Tanzania to position itself as the preferred destination for investment, trade, and tourism. To this end, we are presently reviewing our civil aviation master plan to provide strategic direction for comprehensive and sustainable development of this sector in line with our overall economic and social development objectives. Undoubtedly, the progress achieved thus far represents significant milestone that our nation should rightfully take pride in. However, it is imp imperative to acknowledge that our journey still continues. And amidst these successes, challenges remain. Broadly, we are yet to meet our target annual traveler numbers. Currently, Tanzania is directly linked with only 38 international destinations. As such, there's a lot of room for more connectivity. We also face challenges which limit the sector's growth or growth potential and that necessitate our focused attention. This includes insufficient qualified aviation personnel, such as licensed pilots and certified engineers. We also see room to improve our business process management. More investment is required in critical airport infrastructure needed to support aircraft operations and the storage of goods, particularly cold storage facilities for perishables. Lastly, insufficient capacity within uh, our civil, civil aviation training center impedes the development and training of aviation personnel. However, the challenges I listed above are surmountable and can be overcome through enhancing capacity building initiative and fostering public-private partnership. In so doing, we can unlock the full potential of the aviation sector and ensure its sustainability or sustainable growth and prosperity. Ladies and gentlemen, today I wish to reiterate Tanzania's appreciation to the Government of Republic of Korea for the technical cooperation and support in different sectors. I thank His Excellency President Yoon when I met at Yangson office for the invitation to undertake this visit to Korea. This honor that you have accorded to me yet again presents an opportunity to also foster cooperation in the aviation sector. I'm aware that Korea Airways is among the top 10 airlines in the world, and overall, the Korean aviation industry is regarded as one of the most efficient in the, in the world. I'm also informed that a majority of Korean aviation experts are products 
of this prestigious university. And so I believe with this impressive reputation, Tanzania can benefit a lot from your experience, expertise, and partnership. We want to learn from your best, and we want to partner with your best. And so, we are expecting to work with you. We are expecting to work with you and the Korean aviation in having not a university, but a college or a school in Tanzania. So that's uh, one part of the cooperation. But then in my mind, I have the Korean Aerospace University, the Korean Airport Corporation, and the Korean Airways in this regard. I wish to welcome you to join us in fostering a partnership of shared prosperity in our growing aviation industry. I also mentioned our Civil Aviation Training Center, which we plan to expand in terms of its training capacity and also ensuring it has the appropriate infrastructure and adequate training facilities. To realize this, I believe that partnership are important and we invite you, Korean uh, Aeronautical University, to consider partnering with us. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, in conclusion, I wish to say that I receive this honor with a profound sense of responsibility and dedicated to all Tanzanians for their solid and steadfast support to me since assuming this office. I also acknowledge the significant contribution of all of my predecessors in shaping the aviation sector in Tanzania. I'm particularly grateful to the late President John Pombe Magufuli for the groundwork he laid which facilitated the continuity or continuing transformations in Tanzania's aviation journey. Going forward, as a recipient of this honorary doctorate, I'm committed to continuing to push the boundaries to ensure that the aviation industry remains a driving force for both progress and prosperity in Tanzania. I'm confident that the Korea will be a key part of this history. I thank you for your kind attention. Thank you very much. Wateja wako watarajiwa wanaangalia video hii. Kama biashara yako ingeonekana pamoja na unachokiangalia sasa, wengi wangegeuka kuwa wateja wako wapya. Tuandikie sasa info at snstz.com au WhatsApp pekee sifuri sita tano tisa mbili ya msini miatatu thema na tisa tuifikishe biashara yako kwa na SNS.